Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. Let's solve this question. This is gate 1992 question. Okay. Now the question is saying that if G is a group of even order, then show that there exists an element other than identity element. Okay, such that a square is equal to e. Okay. So the question is very simple. The question is saying that if G is group of even order, so this G is a group. Okay. and the order of g means the number of elements in g order of a group means number of elements in that group okay so number of elements in the group that is even okay so there are even number of elements in the group okay now if you have a group of even order then we have to prove we have to prove that other than identity other than identity there exist at least one element there exist at least one element other than identity such that such that a square will be equal to e this is what we need to prove we need to prove that we need to prove that there exist a okay we need to prove that there exist a there is some element a other than identity such that a square is equal to e okay so we can do this we can solve this question by two methods again so let's see the method one okay the method one what in the method one what we can do first understand what is this okay see if you have a group if you have any group okay in a group what is the meaning of a is square equal to e okay in a group if you have a group then what is the meaning of a is square equal to e so a is square equal to e means i can say a a equal to e okay so you can notice that in a group if a square equal to e then a a equal to e now what i can do this is equal to this so i can multiply with a inverse on the left side let me multiply with a inverse on the left side now the associative property says that this is e a inverse a i can apply associative property so this will be e so i got e a equal to what is this this is nothing but a inverse so from this what i got i got a equal to a inverse so what i want to say i want to say that in a group a square is equal to e it means it means a is equal to a inverse okay and also and also if a equal to a inverse if a is equal to a inverse then a square will be equal to e means if you have element which is inverse of itself element which is inverse of itself then then a a equal to e yes so you can notice you can notice in the method one what i am doing so in the method one okay so in the method one okay in the method one what i am doing you can notice that in the method one i am saying that first of all you understand what is a square equal to e in a group in a group a square equal to e this has this this means this means a square a inverse is equal to a okay so the question the question now is change the question what is the question now what we have to prove we have to prove that if you have a group okay if you have a group such that the order of the group is even means the number of elements are even then 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 okay then there exist an element a other than identity there exist an element other than identity such that it is inverse of itself it is inverse of itself this is what we need to prove remember in the question this is what we need to prove okay but i told you that in a group in a group a square equal to e this means a inverse equal to a this a square equal to e this means a is inverse of itself okay so instead of proving this we can prove this okay so this is what i am going to do if you have a group in which you have even number of elements then we need to prove that there is at least one element at least one element who is inverse of itself so how can we prove very easily we can prove let's assume that this is not true let's assume that in a group in which you have even order in a group in which the number of elements is even let's assume that no element is inverse of itself so just assume assume that no element okay no element is inverse of itself okay so let's assume this no element is inverse of itself okay so let's assume this now what you can see that 
if no element is inverse of itself now you can notice that you have this group and in this group you have total even number of elements okay because the group has even order now there is identity element and there are some more elements for example maybe a1 a2 a3 a4 okay a5 like okay like this okay now you can notice that g has even order means even number of elements you can notice there are even number of elements but one element is e one element is identity element so that how many remaining elements odd number of remaining elements we have okay now we are saying uh, we are assuming that no element is inverse of itself okay so what will be the inverse of a what will be the inverse of a1 inverse of a1 cannot be a1 because we are assuming that no element is inverse of itself so inverse of a1 cannot be a1 so inverse of a1 let's assume let's assume inverse of a1 is a2 okay let's assume because inverse of a1 cannot be a1 by our by our assumption okay so let's assume inverse of a1 is a2 then automatically inverse of a2 is a1 so they are inverse of itself uh, they are inverse of one another now what is inverse of a3 so let's assume that inverse of a3 cannot be a3 because no element should be inverse of itself so inverse of a3 cannot be a3 so let's assume let's assume that inverse of a3 is a4 then automatically inverse of a4 is a3 now you can notice this element is remaining okay this element a5 this is remaining so what should be the inverse of a5 what should be inverse of a5 okay you can notice that there is no other element because in a group inverse is unique we already know that in a group in every group inverse of every element is unique so inverse of a5 what what that will be inverse of a5 cannot be e why because the only element whose inverse is e that is e itself okay because we already know in a group in any group inverse of any element is unique okay so the only element whose inverse is identity element that is e itself similarly inverse of a is already a2 inverse of a2 is already a1 inverse of a3 is already a4 inverse of a4 is already a3 so who is remaining who should be the inverse of a5 so the only remaining element is a5 itself so the inverse of a5 must be a5 must be a5 this is what we wanted to prove we wanted to prove that there is at least one element there is at least one element who is inverse of itself so you can notice that a5 is inverse of itself okay so this is the one one proof okay